Hey crew, for the, uh, the raw clip, I'm showing you uh, actually an exercise. Uh, the actual raw is going to have lots of clearly uh, combat related material for the, for the grappling portion, which I don't want to give anything away on because we're still working deeply on busting the half guard stuff. Uh, lots of knee guard material, sneaky stuff too. Um, that's what we go to a tall striking position, tall ground and pound position. So, <clears throat> again, you got to get the pipe price of admission for that because a lot of this, I mean, again, is laid out in our linear, a, linear ABC fashion. Uh, I'm not going to give any weight from uh, that. In the uh, empty hand portion stuff, we're playing with something that comes from a Plains Indian tradition uh, called a Pakamoye or Motak. We're going to show you how you can apply it in a standing up position. Uh, and we're using a piece of gear that you can make yourself with just a blanket. It makes it usually was done with the buffalo skin. We'll, we'll show you how to stand in for it. But uh, to, to zero in the targeting because you don't want to do this thing on a heavy bag and you bust your hands up. But it's ingenious what the skin or the blanket is going to do. Also shows you how to apply it on the ground position for uh, those of you who are still hot and heavy as you should be and, and you're grappling for using jonesing positions, which is the mean stuff when you're hooking really hard. Uh, we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll cover that hard and heavy on uh, RAW uh, 201. What we're going to go ahead and do on this though is show you an exercise. It's a set circuit we put together. It's going to be coming from our book, the, uh, the Rough and Ready book, about where we're highlighting lots of old schools, uh, ways of training that we're finding from indigenous cultures, throw them together. And in this one, we're taking a con uh, combining a standard, which is the burpee. We're combining it with something that was called, a, it was a, a Plains Indian game called Hunobi Poka. I mean, in the adoptive Comanche that I use, there's many different names for it. Basically, the idea is you find yourself a tree, it was be a tree branch. You pop up, you get yourself in a hang position, and you're going to slack your hands on there, let's say in an overgrip pull up position, and then you were give yourself a burst, flip your hands over to an undergrip position, which is chin up position, and then back and forth. The game was how many reps you, you could get before you, you came off this thing. Had a lot of practical utility to it, and, uh, and I'm getting ready to do one here in a few minutes. Uh, but we're going to put it together in a sequence for you to uh, have a little whole body burner on it. Uh, I'll even provide the, uh, the, uh, the written version uh, of the drill for you. I'm throwing on gloves because I just did a lot of reps with this one myself yesterday. And I ate the hell out of my hands, so I'm not going to lie. Uh, this will eat you up. And also, it's way, way harder than it looks. I mean, even if you, you for a few reps are okay, uh, by the time you start, you break 20. Life, life gets rough on you. But I'm just going to give you a few reps here to give you an idea of what we're looking for. We're going to give yourself a standard burpee underneath your bar. You're going to uh, pop up from it, not jump into a pull up, put an over grip on the bar, give yourself one strict pull up, no kipping. At the bottom of the pull up, you're going to flip over. Again, that's that hulobi polka. You're going to flip over without coming off the bar into the uh, under grip position. Give one strict chin up and then hulobi polka again back to the over grip. Come down. That's one rep. So basically burpee up. Strict pull up down to the bottom. Burst to the hand flip. Strict chin. Burst back to the other side. And then you do rinse, wash, repeat. Cry a whole lot. Trust me in the crying bit. All right. Same. Make sure we get this right. Position. <coughs> Telling everyone, if you got your big point, big boy pants on, knock out 50. You will cry a good deal on it, and then you can say uh, if uh, lesser uh, uh, spirits might want to go for 30. If you find you just don't have the hunobi polka in there for you at all, at least get in. You can do a, a backup of doing the burpee up to the strict uh, pull up, hands off, other side strict chin up, trying to get yourself ready for it. And an in-between step on that would actually be to you know, give yourself your pull-up and then walk your hands around for it. But let's be clear, doing the actual Hunobi poker, which is that flipping back and forth, that's the man-maker, that's the woman-maker, that's the warrior-maker right there. <laughs> 